new BSC yield farm, Binance Smart Chain yield farming on stable coins, incredible returns. That's what we're talking about today, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking about DeFiRx. This is sponsored content. Move forward, do your own due diligence. But I've looked over this project the past couple of days. I'm going to share with you what I've found out, and I think I'm going to give it a shot. But Nothing I say in this video needs to be considered financial advice. So the idea behind DeFiRx safe yield farming, they call it safe, they call it risk-free, but nothing in crypto is risk-free, absolutely nothing. And then when you go through like the wiki and stuff, which they have the one of the best wiki pages I've probably ever seen as far as tremendous amount of detail, it's done really, really well. I encourage you to, before you make any investments, you go through this stuff. We'll break it down in a future video as well, particularly, particularly some of the tokenomics and whatnot. But in this video, I just wanna kind of give you an overview of what the project is, what they're doing, kind of the strategy that I'm going to use with it. They also have guarantees here. You can check the balances on Etherscan, the profit with Compound. You can check their audit. They are audited. You can come down to here. You can look at the audit for yourself. And by the way, look at this. Stable coins, DAI, BUSD, USDT, their native token, the governance token, DFX. That's the only token that's not a stable coin in this entire thing. Look at these returns on stable coins. 95% on USDT. BUSD, 77%. Yesterday it was at 80 something percent. But here's the thing. You're not gonna have any risk of impermanent loss except maybe in this pool right here, but at least then you're using the, the Binance dollar peg. This is incredible. Now, when you go into those two pools, you're gonna also be earning their DFX token. Awesome, so you can hold that token, you can sell it, you can compound it back. We're gonna cover all that. We're gonna cover absolutely all of that, ladies and gentlemen. Relatively new project. It's been on Ethereum for a little while. I'm not sure how long, but on Binance, this is the first week, I believe, on Binance or maybe we're going into the second week now, but it's still relatively new. Transparent DeFi technology, neither the project team nor anyone else has access to user funds deposited via DeFiRx smart contract. That sounds good. All balances and transactions are open and available for verification. Check your balances on Etherscan or BSC scan. Successfully passed security audit, the reliable and transparency of our service and smart contract is confirmed by public report from a renowned team of auditors. You can read the security audit here for yourself. Open source code, our your services use a fully transparent decentralized smart chain architecture built on Ethereum blockchain. And of course, now the Binance smart chain. Autonomous and full control over funds. This is, this. I love this part. There's no locking up your funds, which is awesome. Smart contract provides the ability to withdraw funds, even if the site is down through any available block explorer, Etherscan. Explore the DeFiRx pools. By the way, airdrop. I wish I could tell you we were gonna get in on the airdrop, but this was only for the, those that were on the Ethereum side, when they moved over here to the Binance Smart Chain side, then the people who were on the Ethereum, who'd been using the platform on Ethereum, got a, a DFX airdrop on the Binance side. So unfortunately, that's not us, unfortunately, but that's okay. What is DeFiRx? DeFiRx is a group of smart contracts that works with leading DeFi projects for ensuring its users the most reliable and highly profitable level of liquidity mining at minimum fees. Our service relies on a fully transparent, decentralized smart contract architecture built on top of the Ethereum blockchain. How we managed to reduce commissions by 100 times. Basically, they just moved to Binance. How the DeFiRx smart contract works with Compound. This is really important. We're gonna talk about this. How profit taking takes place. Place. This is really important as well. I encourage you to go through and read each one of these, the audit, and you can read the audit from Pessimistic right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, essentially what they're doing with the smart contracts, they're doing two things. They're basically compounding your earnings and selling the Venus tokens and or compound tokens to continue to compound your earnings. So you're like, how in the world can they provide 77% on a Binance dollar peg? So essentially what they're doing is they're taking, let's just say you have a, put a thousand dollars in. What they're claiming to do on a lot of these platforms like Compound or Venus, you can supply funds. And when you supply funds, you're gonna earn say three or 4%. You're gonna earn that three or 4%. And what then what you're gonna be able to do when you earn that three or 4% is you're, you can borrow against those same funds. So say you put in a thousand and you were to borrow 500. Sometimes it's 35%, maybe it's 60%, whatever. There's a certain amount, but you can borrow $500. Once you borrow that 500, if you wanted to, you could go back in and supply the 500 back. And now notice what's happened here. Now you have $1,000 plus $500 earning interest. So minus the, uh, say, say this is 4% that you're earning or 5% that you're earning. Typically when you borrow, you're gonna pay interest. So you may, you know, have to pay one or 2%. So you're netting 3% or, or I'm just using round, no, I'm just using numbers to give you an idea. But when you supply it back to the contract, now you can borrow, believe it or not, as crazy as it sounds, you can borrow 
say 50% of that 500. And I'm just using simple figures. And of course, since we borrowed it, guess what? If we wanted to, we could go back in and supply it back to the contract. Many people, myself included, have done this before and you do it all manually. And then of course, when you supply it, guess what? You get to borrow again if you want. You can borrow another 125 and you can keep going. But what happens is you got over $1,800 here, essentially that you are earning interest with. And when you're on those platforms like Compound, like Venus, not only are you earning the interest, but you're also going to be earning tokens like the Venus token or the Compound token. Every For interacting with the contract, for supplying and borrowing, you're going to earn tokens. And what they do is that their smart contract basically does this several times. So it uses leverage. It adds risk, except you're using stable coins. So that decreases the risk drastically. Plus, the smart contract is also automatically selling the compound tokens or the Venus token, and that helps contribute to the high return. All this is done with a smart contract. There's really two main risks. The risk is the smart contract itself, the DeFiRx, their smart contract. Again, you can read the audit. The auditor actually mentions that. He says, you know, there's always a risk with a smart contract, and that's true. There's always gonna be some sort of risk you can't control, even if a backdoor is not intentionally created, something someone could find a backdoor, a hack could happen. There's always that possible risk. Again, please understand, this is not financial advice. I am not telling you to do this. This is what I'm evaluating as I make these decisions and I'm letting you know that. The other possible risk is if there was some reason that your peg, dollar peg, got too far off. And I don't know, there's probably a certain amount, meaning if you if you use too much leverage, you're gonna, for example, let me pull it back up my, if this went down by 10%, then all these would go down by 10%. And so that's where you're gonna get into trouble. And if this goes down, th this loan is gonna ask for more money. This loan is gonna be asking for more money. It's called re-collateralization. You, you cannot go below that, say, whatever the threshold is, let's just say it's 50%. You can't go below that. So they're gonna ask for more and they're gonna ask for more and they're gonna ask for more. And it basically, you could end up in a pickle. You would never wanna do something like this on something that was not a stable coin. But in the in the rare uh, occurrence that a stable coin loss is pegged, then this whole thing could basically liquidate itself. And in theory, your principal could be a risk. Now they like to tell you that it's safe and they like to tell you that it's risk-free for two reasons. Their smart contract uses what they call recursive restructuring, which basically means it can start to unwind. At least that was the way I understood it because I asked that very question. It can start to unwind itself so you wouldn't have to babysit it. However, if a move moved too fast, there could be some loss. And they told me that they are looking to implement, they're looking to add like some insurance pools. And the idea is the insurance pools ultimately would be just that insurance in the event that that were to occur to be able to recapitalize the loans, probably through a smart contract as well. That's just what they told me. I have no proof that that's gonna happen, but it would make sense on a, on a big level. Now the way the project itself makes money, I always think that's very important. The way that they make money is a percentage of the gains used from farming the, the they use to go back and buy back the token. My understanding is the team owns the tokens. They had over $3 million raised uh, to be able to, to issue those tokens on their initial, I guess you could say coin offering or whatever. And the profits are primarily used to go into exchanges and buy up the tokens. So they're claiming that their token is going to continue to go up in price. And logically that could and or would make sense. I'm going to go into this. I'm not going to go in here like crazy. The reason is because this project is so new. I'm just gonna watch it. I'm gonna come over here and, and do BUSD. I'm personally not a fan of USDT, but if you don't have anything on USDT and you wanna do that and you feel comfortable in the project, that's your call. Remember, don't come in with anything more than you're willing to lose. Three strategies that you have here. You have the high ri highest risk strategy, then you have the little less risk than the highest risk, and then you have probably the, the lowest of the high risk strategies, because all this is high risk, because it's in crypto and it's in DeFi, so you have to consider that anything can happen. The riskiest strategy is just go buy these DFX tokens on PancakeSwap or one inch exchange. I just looked, they're about $4 each. Go buy these tokens and you're gonna put yourself at risk for price fluctuation. Lower risk strategy would be yield farm one of these, take your 59% that you're getting paid back in tokens, 36% you're getting paid back in tokens, take those tokens and then stake them right here. At the very least, the idea is you're only using the tokens that you earn to stake right here. Here's another strategy, less risk. Take your BUSD, and this is what I'm gonna do, or your USDT, and go in with whatever you're gonna go in. I'm gonna go with $1,000. So you take that $1,000. When you earn the tokens, then periodically sell some of those DFX tokens, and, if you, and you can just keep the profit, or 
you can compound and I'm probably going to compound a little bit. Typically I say just pull off the profit, pull off the profit. But in this case, I want I just want to sell the tokens and kind of see how it goes. And I'm going to do a couple of videos on DeFiRx. So I'll, if this is something you want to do, that's totally fine. I think it's an interesting project. What I like about it is it's easy. Most people couldn't understand how to use compound if they were newish to crypto. Like you couldn't understand it, but this is something that makes sense. Like it's, if you can deposit onto a smart contract, then you can do this and you can listen. This is exactly how people were making a killing back in the day. Like when compound first came out a few months ago, people were doing this and the compound tokens were so much. And, and I did that for a half a second, to be honest with you, you could just do really, really well before all the prices started tanking. But the reason the prices tank is because the price of the compound token went down drastically here. Your APY changes, but you always have your BUSD or USDT. The APY or APR, I should say, the APR changes, but the reason that the APR changes, the biggest reason is because of the tokens, the Venus token and or the compound token that they're selling, those tokens go up and down in value. All right, enough about that. Let's just go in here. I told the team, I said, hey, I'm, I'm gonna check it out. At first, I you know, wasn't really feeling it for any reason. So this is what I'm gonna get. The APR is 34.79%. When you include the farming profits, it's another 36%. So I'm going to supply, of course, confirm. See, there's three transactions I have to go through. They're doing all this for us. And click supply and farm. One of three transactions. I'm not sure why you would just do supply, by the way. Second transaction. Look at that. All right, deposit a thousand BUSD. Here's the BUSD. This is going to show me when I earned the DFX token. I like that. You can claim them individually. That's cool. All right, we're going to see how this goes long term. Stay tuned. I'm going to keep you posted. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about brand new projects, do me a favor and make certain that you subscribe. And if you love cryptocurrency, you love decentralized finance, please, ladies and gentlemen, smash that like button. Decentralized cryptocurrency equals freedom. This is Crypto Wealth. Stay tuned for my next video as we go through some of this in more details. We're going to break down the wiki a little bit. We're going to look at some more of the tokenomics, how it actually works. I'm going to break it all down for you. Coming up in another video. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. I'm out.